So electrical engineering is arguably the best college major. And I know this because I've done a bachelor's, master's, and I'm doing a PhD in electrical engineering. In fact, I was able to come up with 17 reasons on why you should study electrical engineering. And the first few are gonna sound very reasonable, but then towards the end, they're gonna get a little crazier, but they're still gonna be valid. So let's jump in. So the first reason is that electrical engineering is at the heart of technology. Any technology that you see and you can think of involves electrical engineering. That's probably because it has hardware, it has some circuitry that's running, has some electrical signals going through and all that requires electrical engineering. So if you're interested in innovation or basically improving technology or making technology better or inventing new things, then electrical engineering is the place to be. Second reason is that electrical engineering is the foundation of the internet, especially nowadays with the massive amount of data that's being thrown around over the internet, that data has to travel through some wires or cables or fibers, get stored in servers, get processed. And as long as the internet is a thing, we will always need electrical engineers to maintain it and to create ways to make it better. Third reason is you get to work on abstract and imaginary things, which are gonna expand your imagination. And this is because electrical engineering is based on electromagnetic physics, which is based on electrical electric and magnetic fields which are invisible. And while to many people this is a detriment, to me and many of the other people who find electrical engineering cool, hopefully you, find that thing to be actually fascinating because you get to work with invisible things, which means you get to imagine them however you want, hopefully in a way that makes sense. Now these electric and magnetic fields when oscillating, they create electromagnetic waves, which creates light, which travels at the speed of light. So if you really like fast things, such as electromagnetic waves which travel at the speed of light, you would like electrical engineering. Fourth reason you should study electrical engineering engineering is that electrical engineering is at the interface of theoretical physics and engineering. Now, for example, if you're studying mechanical or civil engineering, you would generally deal with large things. You're building things on the macro scale, but electrical engineering, the science behind it happens on the microscopic scale where you are dealing with charges and electrons and photons. And these things are really tiny. And now you're suddenly in the conversation with people from the physics community, especially things involving like particle physics or wave physics. So if you really like that aspect of physics, but still want to do something applicable, you should study electrical engineering. Fifth reason is that there are plenty of job opportunities within electrical engineering, obviously, because there's gonna be a lot of innovation. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of people that need to do the innovation and a lot of them will be electrical engineers. There's a shortage of supply of electrical engineers. So at least here in the United States or in the Western world, you're very likely to get a good job because for example, the number of people who study mechanical engineering is much higher than electrical engineering, although the number of jobs is more or less the same. All right, sixth reason is that you are at the interface of software and hardware. And what I mean by that is people in computer science who write code at the top level, uh, they don't really care or understand what's going on underneath the hood. And as an electrical engineer, engineer, while you do understand the foundation of hardware, you also understand software and more beautifully, you understand how that software sits on top of the hardware. That's why one of the most popular branches in electrical engineering is embedded systems. We are basically programming microcontrollers directly. So you write pieces of code to get like a light to blink or you get to like an alarm, alarm clock to set or something like that. So studying electrical engineering is gonna prime you to be really good at understanding computers and software. Seventh reason you should study electrical engineering is that it is an extremely diverse field. There are like more than 15 or so branches. In fact, that was part of why I wrote this book in which in chapter three, this book is about how to basically uh, get the most out of an electrical engineering degree. I will put a free PDF in the description if you're interested, but there's a chapter I wrote in here that talks about 15 different career options that you can do with an electrical engineering degree. That's just to give you an idea of all the different things that you can do. So if you're somebody who's uncertain about what to do and you don't really know what's going on and you'd like to enter a field where there's so much optionality and flexibility, um, then electrical engineering is the way to go. Eighth reason is that you get to work with some of the smartest people in the world. Now electrical engineering, because it is abstract and imaginative and because it's not too theoretical like physics and still applicable, uh, tends to attract a lot of smart people who like to build things. And these are people you want to be around because smart people who build things are the people who are likely going to be the next Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, or essentially people who like learning, but more importantly, they like learning by doing. And these are definitely people you want to be around so you can learn as much as you can from them. And hopefully you can be like them as well. Because obviously intelligence is not like a cap thing. You can always grow in how smart you become. And a big part of that is the people you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with electrical engineers who are really good, you'll probably get a lot smarter. Reason number nine is you get to claim Nikola Tesla and Michael Faraday as your heroes. And yes, there are other people like Thomas Edison or Claude Shannon or other electrical engineering heroes. 
But to me, Nikola Tesla and Michael Faraday really are my two heroes because not only did they develop a very strong understanding and have a strong imagination for the theory of the electromagnetics involved, but they were actually builders. They were tinkerers. They were in the lab and they were building things. They were hands-on. And I have a lot of respect for that. But if you want to be more like these guys, you should study the things which they invented, which is electrical engineering. All right, reason number 10, you would make Elon Musk really happy and you'd have a really high uh, chance at getting a job at an Elon Musk company. And that's because a big portion of what Elon Musk companies are trying to do is solve problems that are related to electrical engineering. For example, with Tesla, obviously the bottleneck is batteries. Although another bottleneck is manufacturing, which requires mechanical engineering, building good batteries and integrating them with the rest of the system requires good engineering. But also the autopilot or driverless car, um, having these sensors that are based in hardware and having them interface with good software, that requires good electrical engineering as well. Likewise, for the SpaceX Starlink constellations, which are trying to provide space-based internet, future generation of the Starlink constellation will require better electrical engineers because electrical engineers will need to come up with better ways of designing waveforms that are gonna increase data rates across the satellites, have the satellites have hardware that is able to send electromagnetic waves a lot more efficiently. And a third example is Neuralink, which is trying to interface between a machine and the brain. And a big part of that is like electronics, trying to understand the brain circuitry from an electrical engineering standpoint, trying to connect individual electrodes to individual neurons, which is pretty much like an electrical engineering project. Reason number 11 you should study electrical engineering is that you will get a much better understanding of electronic music, be able to make electronic music since you'll understand what gain, compression, how to look at waveforms in the time domain, how to convert them to the frequency domain and do all these fun things I just mentioned. I actually made an electronic music album and it took me like a month and it was so much fun because when I was tinkering around with all the little things that were playing around around with the sounds and, and the sound distortions. All these things were electrical engineering concepts from my wireless communications classes. And likewise, it doesn't have to be electronic music. If you like rock music, you're gonna have a big appreciation for electric guitars and how their amplifiers work and how the circuitry behind that is involved. So if you like music overall, you should study electrical engineering. Right, reason number 12 is you get to tinker around with electronics, and microcontrollers, and you get to take tiny things and build really cool stuff. There's actually another cool thing about electrical, I guess more electronics engineering is that there's a large community of hobbyists, as in people who do electronic stuff for fun, and they don't necessarily need to have like a very deep understanding of electromagnetic theory. But what they have is like a breadboard, a bunch of resistors, LEDs, and maybe like a microcontroller, like an Arduino, and just get to build stuff with that. And for most people, this is a big hobby and it's really fun to do. And you can check out many hobbyist projects. One I would really recommend is using an Arduino microcontroller. There's a bunch of kits that come really cheap with a lot of parts and a breadboard and you can plug things together and play around with them. Uh, reason number 13 is if you pursue research in the area of electrical engineering, you will be part of IEEE, which is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. And that is basically a society of engineers which is the most organized out of any other engineering branch. And when you get to publish conferences or journals or magazines within IEEE, it's a really organized process and really neat. And it's just way cooler than the other engineering societies. In fact, I can't really imagine doing research in anything outside of electrical engineering. Reason number 14, which a lot of you guys are probably gonna like, is that you would likely make a lot of money, not just from getting a regular job as an electrical engineer, but because of the type of skills they're gonna develop, which is solving problems, being more imaginative, working with technology and being innovative. Not only these equate to high paying jobs, but these are skills that you could use if you want to work in other areas. Reason number 15 is that you can work in pretty much any country that would like recognize your degree because electrical engineering is something that is universal. Electromagnetic physics is the same in the United States as it is in Europe, as it is in Africa, as it is in Asia, as it is in Antarctica. So you could take your skills and go really work anywhere, or even better nowadays, it's the there's like more remote jobs. You could probably work a remote job with an electrical engineering salary. Probably live a pretty cool life. So if that sounds like a fun lifestyle to you, an electrical engineering degree is probably one way to do that. Reason number 16 is that you get to actually apply the math that you learned in high school and college. All the linear behavior stuff you learned in high school, you get to use it. And even the crazier stuff like, I don't know, and the matrices and vectors and the multivariable calculus, you get to actually use all that stuff, especially if you pursue a research oriented job, especially if it's related to electromagnetic waves and propagation. And reason, finally, reason 17, which is kind of picking back of what I mentioned earlier with the skills you develop, is that you will be a lot more primed to start your own company. So if entrepreneurship is something you're interested in, an electrical engineering degree is really like 
a very good foundation for developing the skills necessary to go and build something on your own, basically learning how to solve problems and being imaginative. In fact, Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon, studied electrical engineering at Princeton. And in fact, I made a short video explaining how I think that studying electrical engineering did help him start Amazon and have the success that he is experiencing. So let's go ahead and check it out.